Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. A kit that comes with a kick-ass sub on tank, two top-notch mesh coil heads, a regulated, regulated tube mod that's got a variable water dial at the bottom. You get all this for only 40 bucks. 40 bucks. Steal, 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 steal all day. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be taking a look at this Freemax Firelook Twister 80 watt kit. I just can't get over what you get for 40 bucks. It's just crazy. You know what I love about Freemax? First of all, you can get all their coil heads. Their coil heads are accessible. No waiting for coil heads to be produced. When you run out of these puppy chuckers, you can go buy them separately right now. That is a huge, huge, huge pro, man. There's so many sub-ohm tanks out there that come out that you just can't get the new coil heads. I can't stand that. I cannot stand when manufacturers produce new tanks with new coil heads that you cannot get. This you can. And on top of that, like I said before, you get this regulated tube mod. When do you ever see regulated tube mods anymore? You got a little regulated dial at the bottom. You hear this? Oh yeah, 5 to 80 watts. I just can't get over it. I'm blown away for what you get for only $40. And I've been using this thing for one month. Yes, it's been out for a while. But I like to test my stuff out. I want to make sure these coils last. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now, the two mesh coils that come with this, longevity is phenomenal. These two mesh coils that come with this are second best behind the Falcon Tank. They're not quite as good as the Falcon as far as flavor and longevity, but I mean, it's pretty darn close. And both the coils have flax fiber and cotton. You get a dual mesh coil with flax fiber and cotton and a single mesh coil with flax fiber and cotton. First, I'm going to be vaping on this dual mesh coil with the flax fiber and cotton. And check out this kit, man. It's got this graffiti pattern. All these kits have graffiti patterns. You got a bunch of color options, which I'm going to show you in a second. But yeah, I'm rocking this orange graffiti pattern. Got the airflow halfway open, and I got the dial set to, what is she set to? Let's do 70 watts. Oh yeah, the juice I'm rocking in here is Rainbow Nuggets. It's a Fruity Pebble style vapor vanilla ice cream. Oh my gosh, it's so good. If you're a big fan of Fruity Pebble cereal, and you're looking for a Fruity Pebble e-juice, look no further than this Rainbow Nuggets. And you can get that stuff on over at vapetrick.com. V-A-P-E-T-R-I-K. Use code V-I-P, capital V, capital I, capital P, and get 10% off everything. 10%. Vapetrick.com. Check it out. Flavor, flavor, flavor for freaking days, man. And there is no break in with these coils, just like the Falcon coils. Like I said, number two, second best. And the airflow for this tank is smooth. It is a little bit loud, but it's smooth all across the board. Smooth as a porn star's ass. This is definitely my favorite coil out of the two you get with this kit, the dual mesh. Now in the white graffiti pattern unit, I got the single mesh and I'm rocking her at, what is she at? 60 watts. Airflow halfway open, you know, let's go. Oh yeah, and the juice I got in here is also rainbow nuggets. Chuck time. It's a phenomenal coil, just not as good as a dual mesh. I mean, the saturated flavor I get off the dual mesh versus this is definitely noticeable. The flavor I get off the single mesh, I would say is about an A minus. The dual mesh I just chucked, I give it an A, solid A. I will say with a single mesh, you definitely get more airflow because it's more open. Again, you're going to see this in the close-ups. And you're going to see it right now. Oh, yeah. So here's the packaging this Freemax Twister 80-watt kit comes in. Of course, inside that packaging, you're going to receive your Twister 80 watt kit, a USB cable to charge that kit. You get an additional bubble glass tube for the tank, an extra mesh coil head, extra O rings for the tank, a warning card, a warranty pamphlet, and last but certainly not least, you get this instructional guide. Personally, I've seen six different graffiti color options. You could choose this white one, green, gray, orange, red, and blue. First of all, let's go ahead and talk about this Twister mod. She's primarily made of zinc alloy with a graffiti wrap. She's 24.5 millimeter in width down at the base and about 102 millimeter in length. At the top of the device, you got your stainless steel 510 connection, gold plated spring loaded 510 pins, says designed by Freemax, www.freemaxvape.com. Up here at the top, you got your fire button, which barely protrudes, and you got your battery light indicator around it. Five clicks to turn her on one, two, three, four, five. Very dim light, but as you guys can see, it's lighting up yellow. And yellow means it's midway charged. Green means it's fully charged. Yellow means it's midway charged. And red means you need to charge this puppy chucker up. And of course, five clicks this puppy chucker turns her off. One, two, three, four, five. At the base base, this device says Twister 80 watt. You got your holes for battery venting, and this is not a battery cab. No, no, no. It's got a built-in 2300 milliamp hour battery, but this is the variable wattage dial. How cool is that? So you can adjust this puppy chucker from 80 watts all the way to 5 watts. And she does click into place. So I want you to hear it. So you're never gonna have to worry about this thing spinning out on its own. I never had that issue at all. Once it clicks, it's secure. Like I said though, guys, you can adjust her from five all the way up to 80 watts. Again, guys, huge, huge, huge pro for being able to adjust the wattage and this thing being regulated. Most stick kits are not either. They're not regulated and you can't adjust anything. This one, you can do both. Biggie, biggie, biggie. So yeah, like I said, this thing's got a built-in 2300 milliamp hour battery and that's the biggest con for me because 2300 milliamp hours, it just doesn't go. I've had to charge this thing twice in one day and I'm not even a chain vapor. But I know why they weren't able to put a larger battery in here is because they have all the circuitry 
circuitry down here. This variable wattage dial, it definitely eliminates a lot of the space in this tube. Now, as far as the Fire Loop 2 tank is concerned, she's 24 millimeter in width down at the base and about 43 millimeter in length. And yes, she is primarily made of stainless steel with that graffiti wrap on there. Of course, at the base base of this device, you got your 510 connection. Down here, you get your dual bottom adjustable airflow with a stopper. You see that stop right there? So yes, it stops in one direction, stops in the other, and whatever you adjust on this side is going to be the same on this side. At the top of this tank, it comes the matchy matchy resin dual o-ring 810 drip tip. And look at that, you got an o-ring embedded in there. So yes, you could use your 810 drip tips. But of course, this puppy chugger fits snug as a bug and looks good. Nice, comfortable drip tip. And you see the red dot right there? That's where you fill her up. You just push her open and boop, fill that bad boy up. And what I love about it is it's got a hole in there. And that's to let the air escape. So it's easy to fill this thing up. Now, I want to point this out. The slot could be bigger. Could be bigger and it could indent. You're not going to be able to pour your juice in. But it's not that big of a deal. As long as you have a nipple tip or a dropper, you're going to be good. Oh, yeah. And this bad boy holds five mils of juice. When you're done filling her up, you just whoop. Of course, to get to the coil head, you got to unscrew the base. And it comes pre-installed with a dual mesh coil head. Again, here's the inside of the top of the tank. Everything's nice and clean for this. Not the cleanest that I've seen by any means, but it's clean. Here's the inside of the base section. Again, everything nice and clean. Like I said, guys, you get two coil heads with this kit. You get a 0.15 ohm coil head and a 0.2 ohm. The 0.2 ohm is a dual mesh and the 0.15 is a single mesh. Here's a single mesh and this uses flax fiber and cotton. Same goes for this 0.2 ohm dual mesh. That's right, dual mesh with flax fiber and cotton. Both these coil heads are second best. Second best behind the Falcon coil heads. And in the orange kit, I'm gonna be using a dual coil today. Of course, you wanna prime her up, pop her back together. Together, make sure she's nice and tight and then I'm gonna fill her up And here's a close-up view of what this tank looks like on the mod. Now, check it out. It's not completely seamless, and that's because the tank's a little bit smaller in diameter than the mod. Remember, this mod's 24.5 millimeter, whereas the tank is 24. So that definitely may be a little gripe to some of you guys. Again, here's what everything looks like all assembled. Love all these graffiti options, man. Oh yeah, on the back of the mod, you got the USB port. I forgot to show you that. Yeah, you got the USB port, obviously for charging. And as you guys saw on FaceTime with this white unit, I had the single macro mesh coil head with the flax fiber and the cotton. Like I said, both fade phenomenal. Second best coil heads on the market right now. And there is one more gripe I got to point out about this. Now, this is just the white unit. All the other units, I never had this issue, just the white one. But the top fill for this white one is a little bit loose. You see that? See that play? I haven't had any issues with this thing leaking, but I'm definitely afraid it will over a long period of time because it is loose. Again, you want this to be able to seal it up 100% up top, and I think it is right now it obviously is because it's not leaking but i'm just saying over time maybe it could i don't know so yeah like i just mentioned in the close-ups the biggest gripe that i have for this is the built-in battery it's just not large enough for the resistance to the coils that comes with this kit free max you should have come out with a little bit higher resistance coils that way you could vape this thing at lower wattage and save on the battery life because like i said vaping this thing 60 to 80 watts mostly 70 watts with a dual coil i mean i'm telling you man i go through the battery life like nothing i've been having to charge this orange unit twice a day definitely the biggest con that i found for this do i still think it's worth it oh yeah i mean the price point you can't beat it like i said buy two of them that way you don't have to charge them during the day one dies you go to the next but again this is not me spending the money on this thing this is you you guys be the judge yeah buddy you know me i'll post a link down in the description of the site that i know of that is credible that is carrying this thing all that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video liked it found it entertaining and helpful if you did like it well then hit that like button let me know that you care and share it for all your friends to see and if you want to see some more of this guy well then go on to sub for more this is rip chippers and remember smoking is dead vaping is the future and the future is now Hey guys, check it out. We almost had 1.3 million subs, baby. What? I could not have done any of this without you guys, okay? You're awesome. I love you. I also want to let you know this. You see that bell on my YouTube channel, that arrow pointing at that bell? You got to click it. Click it in order to get notified every time I post a new video, okay? If you click it and you see those squiggly lines on each side of the belt, that's a good thing. You want that. Squiggly lines are a good thing. If you don't see squiggly lines, that means you're not going to get notified every time I post a video. So click the bell, see those squiggly lines, and you're going to be set.